In part five of Marcus Zusak's novel, The Book Thief, titled The Whistler, The Losers, we witness a profound exploration of power, greed, and the moral complexities faced by the characters, particularly Liesel and Rudy. Set against the backdrop of an intensely difficult period in Nazi Germany, this part of the story is both a poignant commentary on human nature and a critical lens into the oppressive environment under the Fuhrer's regime. Liesel and Rudy, both harboring a rebellious streak and a need to survive in a world of scarcity, are once again drawn back into the world of thievery. However, this time their alliance brings them face to face with Victor Chemmel, the new authoritarian leader of their old gang. Andy Schmeichel, an old friend, introduces them to Victor, whose motivations for stealing starkly contrast with those of Liesel and Rudy. Unlike the desperate need that compels Liesel and Rudy to steal, Victor engages in theft out of a sheer desire for excess and power. This stark difference is highlighted when Victor says there's nothing wrong with wanting more, echoing the ethos of the Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler. The confrontation with Victor provides a sharp critique of the unchecked ambition and cruelty that characterize the Nazi regime. Victor's actions are not driven by need, but by an insatiable greed and a desire to exert control mirroring Hitler's own egotistical ambitions. His willingness to inflict pain on others to maintain his dominance parallels the brutality of the Nazi leadership, which ruled through fear and oppression. Victor's character stands as a representation of these dark traits, making him a small-scale embodiment of the cruelty that has engulfed the larger society. His conflict with Rudy, during which he pins Rudy to the ground for daring to question the meager share of apples, serves as a microcosm of the broader struggle between oppressive forces and individuals who resist them. Furthermore, the state of the apple trees the gang attempts to pillage serves as a powerful metaphor for the larger setting of Himmel Street. The trees, once a source of sustenance, are now barren and dilapidated, mirroring the dire conditions of hunger, poverty, and fear affecting the lives of the characters. The dilapidation of the apple trees symbolizes the devastation wrought by the Nazi regime's policies, highlighting the tangible effects of widespread deprivation on the community. It underscores how the corruption and greed at the top echelons of power filter down and poison the very roots of society, leaving the common people to suffer in a landscape stripped of its vitality. In sum, this segment of the novel serves not only to advance the narrative, but also to deepen our understanding of the central themes of power, morality, and survival under tyranny. Victor Chemmel's character does more than just antagonize. He crystallizes the destructive greed and mercilessness endorsed by Hitler. Meanwhile, the plight of the apple trees and the indignant defiance of Rudy and Liesel reflect the broader socioeconomic decay and the resilience of those who dare to stand against it. Through this encounter, Zusak cultivates a rich story of moral complexities, exploring how different individuals navigate the harsh realities of their world and the profound implications of their choices. That's all for today. Please let me know if you like this video by smashing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments what books you would like to see a video on next. Signing off for now, this has been another Bookly Crash Course video.